Hi my lovies, welcome back. Thank you for visiting my channel again. I'm going to be sharing with you guys another pregnancy update and I've got some really exciting news to share with you guys too. So let's go ahead and get started. I am 17 weeks. I feel like the time is, you know, kind of starting to pick up a little bit. In the beginning it was really slow because I was sick, but now things are moving along nicely. My Instagram lovey's got an exclusive sneak peek. But if you follow my channel, then I'm sure that you know already the gender of baby Patterson number two, which is, can you tell by what I have on? <laughs> it's a girl! It's a girl! Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm so excited. And we got so many votes at the end of the day. Girl won, like, hands down. So for those of you who don't know, Trey and I decided to find out the gender of our baby first this time. And we went on an intimate dinner together. And we found out the gender of the baby over dessert. So I'll go ahead and share that moment with you guys right now. <laughs> It's a girl! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god! Oh my god! It was such a special moment and I'm so glad that we decided to do it this way this time around. The first time we found out with everyone else, like friends and family, but this time around, I just kind of wanted something for ourselves to share and just kind of have that special little memory um, forever, for a lifetime. So I'm um, so glad we did. And instead of doing a gender reveal party, we just decided to go ahead and do a gender reveal video to be able to share with you guys as quickly as possible because we didn't know when we were going to be able to have a party and I didn't want it to be this drawn out thing over weeks of time and then you guys are like really really you guys we still don't know the gender oh my gosh this is killing us so we're going to do a baby shower originally I was going to do a baby sprinkle because we thought we were having another boy this time around, since it's a girl, I don't know if I can do a baby sprinkle. I think I'm gonna have to have a baby shower. A baby sprinkle, by the way, is something that, it's on a smaller scale. It's not as big as a baby shower. It's just, you know, a few things that you may need, but it's really typically just a small gathering. Now that we're dealing with girl and it's a whole new experience, I can really see it being, you know, just as big as Dash's baby shower. So I'm excited. But Dash is going to be a great big brother and he loves babies. He loves Amira, which is Lauren and Terry's new baby girl. So I'm so excited to see them interact together. So nothing really big has changed since the last pregnancy update. Um, I'm still not really having any cravings other than just wanting um, salty or savory food over sweet food. Um, and I'm feeling great. I'm feeling awesome. I'm actually, you know, starting to pick up with my energy and having a lot more energy. Like for instance, yesterday, I basically cleaned and organized Dash's room from top to bottom, like got rid of all of his clothes that were too small and out of season and like packed them up, put them in the attic. Well, Trey put them in the attic. Um, reorganized his closet. I don't know. I just had like this moment where I'm like, ah, I need to organize this stuff. It was looking crazy and chaotic. So I did that. Um, what else I did? Oh, I unpacked some of the um, big bulky items from when we were in North Carolina, like the whole pantry and everything. Um, I made lunch. I, I was just on a roll yesterday. Okay, can I just can I just say that? Yeah, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. So I wanna become more active, get back involved with working out. So that's what I plan on doing starting this week is to incorporate some type of workout throughout the week, maybe two to three days of like yoga or Pilates or something to get my blood flowing, my body moving to stay fluid and flexible um, because I really want that 
for postpartum recovery and also for you know a smooth labor and delivery as well all right so I have my pregnancy pillow back you guys Yes, my friend is back in the bed now. She's a great friend. She's not a really small friend. This is my pregnancy pillow. Ooh. It's the one that wraps around your entire body and I absolutely love it because I need no other pillow. Like before I was using like four pillows like creating this type of fort all around me. But with this one, I could just wrap it around my body and I'm good. So it's so convenient, it's way more comfortable, and I love it. It actually doesn't take up that much of the room. I sleep on one side of the bed. We have a king size bed, so it works out. It's not disturbing Trey, and sometimes I even catch him sleeping on my pillow when I'm out of the bed and he's still in it. So very comfortable pillow. I forget the name of it, but um, if I can remember, I'll put the information in the description box below. So if you're interested in purchasing it, you can go ahead and click there. Um, as far as Dash's interaction with the bump, he doesn't really notice it really without me asking like, where's the baby? And so he'll come to my tummy and or he'll point at my tummy. But he always wants to like lift up my shirt or my dress even to actually see my skin. So I have to make sure that we're in discreet location when I ask him where the baby is. But the cutest thing that he does now is that he blows raspberries on my tummy. And it caught me off guard the other day because I was just like, what is he doing? He's not kissing it. And then he was like, Pfft. and it was so funny. I could just imagine what that sounds like to her. So it, yeah, I just love the little bond that they have already with her still being in the womb and he on the outside. So I'm really curious to see how they're gonna interact. Oh, and by the way, I know you guys are probably wondering what the name of the baby is going to be since we now know the gender. We do have a name already picked. We actually picked the name when we were first pregnant before we knew whether Dash was a boy or a girl. We want to share with you guys, but not right now, just later on down the road. Um, we want to try to maybe incorporate a game or something to make it fun and interactive with you guys. Um, so if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment box below. We're going to be brainstorming in the meantime as well. I'm going to show you my belly, but first I want to show you guys what I'm using on my belly in order to prevent stretch marks. So this time around I'm using something different than I did with um, dash with dash shot and we use coconut oil um, but this time around I'm feeling a little bit more um, courageous with my uh, products if you don't know what I'm talking about then check out my last pregnancy update where I discuss pups and how I dealt with that whole situation uh, but the first thing that I'm using is the cocoa butter tummy butter and this is the one with uh, argan oil, almond oil, and soothing lavender. I really like this one. Yeah, so it's really, really, really thick. Um, but I do like that because it feels so great when I apply it to my skin and it's very moisturizing. Um, and it's it doesn't have that like greasy feeling like that, you know, long lasting greasy feeling or residue feeling after you put it on. I use this at least twice a day in the morning and at night and then when I have certain itchy spots throughout the day I'll go ahead and apply it because you can apply it as liberally as you need. Now at night this is what I apply over the cocoa butter and that's bio oil. Um, I only apply this at night because this can um, take a minute to kind of do its thing and, and soak in. Um, so I just apply it at night because I'm going to bed, I'm wearing, you know, my pajamas and I'm good. I'm not worried about, you know, how I'm looking to the outside world. Um, so I apply this at nighttime once a day. Uh, yeah, so that's my little product placement <laughs> and what I'm using so far. Um, I didn't get that many stretch marks with Dash and if, you know, a regular person were to see me and look at my stomach with the naked eye they'd be like girl where your stretch marks at but you know your body you're the best you know I do so I can see stretch marks like around my belly button um, near the bottom of the belly button um, but this time around I'm just kind of like whatever you know I'm not really crazy over getting stretch marks but I do like to prevent if I can and keep my belly moisturized because I hate an itchy belly Ugh. so here's the belly shot from the front 
here's the side and the other side all right so that's everything you guys thank you so much for all the love and support that you've sent our way with the baby gender reveal we love you guys so much if you are not subscribed and you're not a lovey and part of this family what are you waiting for it's free go ahead hit that subscribe button today and join i post a new video to this channel every week so i will be back very shortly and i'll see you guys next time bye